Oh, of course you bought all 75k. Okay, that 80k earlier was probably from... Okay, uh, do that. 80k. Oh my god, okay. I, I love the... <laughs> I don't think I... I honestly didn't expect to get that big a number from her. It's DPS Sucrose time. I do not currently have Sucrose on a DPS build, so we gotta configure that. I've just got a normal build, and, you know, just an EM heavy build because Sucrose shares EM is, you know, the the ideal way to build Sucrose. That's what uh, her EM transfer on top of just being a good VV Swirler is a big part of what makes Sucrose a super useful character. But I recently got her C4, which can give her more skill usages by cooldown reduction, this 400% multiplier, and I want to, I want to try to incentivize doing that. If you have been following stuff with Cloud Retainer, you can use Cloud Retainer, of course, to do Plunge Sucrose. And Plunge Sucrose is realistically going to be the, the best way to DPS Sucrose because plunges are pretty good, right? The Plunge Multiplier here is pretty decent compared to just trying to incentivize into her Constellation 4. I'm just more interested in doing her Constellation 4, and I've done plenty of Plunge shenanigans lately. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna be doing cooldown reduction shenanigans, trying to get as many Sucrose skills out as possible. But before we do that, I need to go farm a little bit more of these drops, and uh, then we can level up Sucrose's talents a little bit more. And, I don't know, I think DPS Sucrose is going to be actually pretty decent, mostly because I have C6 Farzan. on. Uh, C6 Farzan on is just, um, uh, uh, probably kind of really want to have. And not just for DPS Sucrose, but kind of every Animo DPS in the game really appreciates C6 Farzan. on, so, you know, go figure. And, uh... It, th this will realistically not work as well without C6 Faras on, so take that for what you will if you don't have C6 Faras on, but hey, at least she's not tied to Wander's banner anymore, so theoretically the chance you get her is much more likely in the future. I've got two different builds planned for uh, for Sucrose, one that'll get higher damage numbers and one that will get more more fun, I suppose, because Sucrose, so Sucrose can use her skill twice, obviously this thing is, this thing is animal immune, but Sucrose can use her skill twice, and in, in just like any build, right? Um, I want to be able to do Thundering Fury on her. Basically, when you're doing, you know, Farina and Fischl, you can swirl Hydro and Electro around to trigger Electro Charge. And you can trigger the four piece passive for four piece Thundering Fury, which reduces skill cooldown even more. You know, I figure if we're, if we're going into specking into her C4, right? This could reduce her skill cooldown. May as well try to reduce her skill cooldown even more with Thundering Fury. And uh, that's the plan. If that doesn't feel like it works out very well, then we're gonna we're gonna do Marsha say hunters with uh, with Farina because you know that's just how Farina do. She enables any character in the game to use the, the artifact set that gets a bunch of free crit. This is kind of a relatively more freeform video. I normally plan my videos out a little bit more, but I figured I'd show you some of my process more of figuring out figuring out what builds I choose to put on characters and all that. Most of the time it's figuring out choosing what, you know, care hey, thank you for the three drops. It's choosing what characters I'm, I'm using to DPS a character less than configuring their build, but Sucrose is a case of you have different choices to do different things and therefore, you know, I want to show more of that process since we got more options with her. Anywho's, I rambled already. We're gonna, we're gonna finish farming for this. Get her final ascension because her final ascension does give her some damage bonus. Which, we want damage bonus, because damage bonus is nice. Wow, well, three drops again. Thank you, game. Oh, I forgot the recording time. I got a, I just got a big gemstone, which is funny, because I already crafted all those gemstones, I think. Not often that you expect to get one of these, but anyways, I only need uh, if I, I've gotten three every time, which is a surprise, so... Just have to wait a few minutes, and then we'll see if I get three the last time, or if the game does what it always does and lets you down at the very end, and then you gotta spend a, a fragile resin. It, well, in my case, I have the transient, which is nice, but still. Anyways, 99% I, I, chance it gives me two drops this next time. It's just a little bit time wasty with certain moves, but you're dead. Not timed well, but you're dead, and you're gonna me three drops, and I'm gonna have to farm it. Yeah, wow, okay, what a world. That's crazy. All right, not expected. It gave me three drops four times in a row. That never happens. That never happens. I got the one percent chance, which was actually like a fifty percent chance. But you know, it it was it was a one percent chance in my heart. Yay! It's a new day, and I can farm for sucrose. How much do I want to farm? I don't know. 
but this is the miserable domain so let's um, let's find a pyro team I don't have actually many pyro characters built all right go wild dear blam 18,000 damage can she get through one shield she can yeah let's go dear best character in the game she took down one wizard blam all dear 10 out of 10 character only took me two minutes to clear with mono pyro <laughs> <laughs> I spent a little bit of time in menus to be clear, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much resin we're using here, but uh, enough that I can hopefully level up Zucos's burst. God, this domain sucks so much. Why does it like how how I bring three pyro characters to this domain and a character that can swirl pyro around and it still takes five minutes to clear this? Oh my God, stop! Actual misery. This stupid, stupid domain. I should have brought Zucos to be able to do Globus Worlds. Now that I think about it. That, that, that genuinely would have been a very good idea. Globo's world, for anyone that doesn't know, is you can swirl if you use elemental sight. You can see Globo glows red. And uh, when he glows red, you can swirl with Sucrose's skill. You can swirl Pyro from Globo when when Pyro is not on the enemy. And only Sucrose can do that for some reason. Globus Worlds won't really be relevant for today because we're not going to be doing normal Sucrose things. We're doing crit Sucrose things. But... It is one of those useful things about Sucrose that makes her you know, uniquely better than Kazuwa in some situations. So, you know, take that for what you will. Sucrose is a good character, and the, the, the fact that she is like quite underutilized just kind of shocks me. And maybe this video will show some more appreciation for Sucrose, although it might be C6 bars I'm doing most of the work, <laughs> if, we're, if we're being real. Can I get more than five? Ugh, okay, whatever. Blam. 54 seconds is a world record. Wall, two drops. What a world. That's what we needed. Alright, gonna use one more resin here and then see what we got. And minimum drops for the last run. Thank you, game. Okie dokie. Let's see how many books can we craft. We're just gonna craft everything. I'm gonna use Layla because I find the chance to double things more exciting than refunding. And she doubled nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Layla. I appreciate that. 13 of these. How about more than 13? No. <laughs> you have a 10% chance. Are you serious? I think I'm not going to... Ha well, we'll see. Hopefully... <laughs> Sucrose, please double the materials for yourself. I would appreciate it. Hey, there's some doubling better than Layla. And then how about these many more? I did not think that these were going to be the limiting factor, but hopefully we have enough here. And burst to level 7. Sorry, level 8. I can count. Don't worry about it. And then, yes, I do have enough for her normal attack talents, and I will not have enough for level 8 anyway as a normal attack, so that's my excuse. Slightly unsatisfying for this to be level 7, this to be level 8, but in, yeah, whatever. Let's talk about team options. So, the main team option I want to try, just because I've been really enjoying Electro Charge teams lately, is going to be this one. So, of course, we got C6 Farazon, which is good for, you know, increasing your Animo Grit DPS. Farina does Farina things, increases, you know, in any damage dealer that's doing crit-based DPS. And then Fischl is just a nice off-field enabler. Notably, Fischl will enable us to do the electro-charged swirls, right? And if we trigger electro-charge, then we can do the four-piece Thundering Fury build I mentioned earlier. But of course, Farina also enables just doing, you know, four-piece Marshall Say Hunters to get a really nice, fancy-looking crit ratio. Fancy? I don't think fancy is the right word. Just, just a big, fat crit ratio, okay? So... We got two options. We'll try both of those. I'll, I'll try to demonstrate you know, the downsides of either of those. But I will try the variation of this team with Bennett instead of with Fischl in this team, just because if we're not doing, you know, the Electro Charge, trying to get more skills out of Four Piece Thundering Fury, utilizing Fischl, then I figure we may as well just use Bennett and see big, biggest number, not you, biggest number possible from Sucrose. That's, you know, go figure, Bennett plus Farina combo do be good. Also, I just realized this team doesn't have a healer. Hmm. That's a problem, actually. Uh, that means, okay, for Thundering Fury Sucrose, then we should not be doing... <laughs> yeah, we should not be doing Farina. We should be doing Yalon. So, yeah, I guess this is what we're going to do for Thundering Fury Sucrose instead. The We're just going to run no healer. <laughs> It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. I just got to play better. So this is so this is going to be the Marsh, let's say, Hunter's team variation for Sucrose. And then this is going to be the Thundering Fury Sucrose variation. I think this team is probably going to be the 
stronger one as far as seeing better numbers from Zucros and probably just the stronger one in general. Oh, you know what? I guess, okay. I I don't like Xingqiu, but it, because of the no healer thing, you know, we're going to use Xingqiu. The idea is Xingqiu's defensive utility from his, you know, not just interruption res resistance, but his damage reduction and the slight bit of healing he does should hopefully help stay alive with his team without a healer. And yes, my Xingqiu is level 70, but like, let's be real, it's Xingqiu, it will hardly matter. My Xingqiu build is not very strong, though. Alright, reconfigured my Xingqiu build a little bit, so he's at 66 crit rate, 142 crit damage, 180 ER, this is C6 Xingqiu. And now the hard one, let's see, what are we going to do for Zucro? So first of all, it would be nice to be able to use Kagura's Verity. The real question for Zucro is that, you know, she can get a meaningful amount of damage from her burst so we want potentially some er on her but i don't know what options i really have for energy i don't have a lot of thundering fury artifacts so we'll see i do at least have a hundred options for feathers <laughs> so this one is by far the best crit value i have but we might end up having to use something like this piece with 15 er or even this piece with 20 er on it right of course we want an animo damage bonus goblet we we'll link that one from Shao. And this is the only crit rate circlet I have in Thundering Fury, so this is a build that has zero energy recharge, but 72% crit rate with Kagura's Verity, 200 crit damage, zero ER. Um, I don't know, it might work okay. We'll, we'll try it out. Alright, so basically, since this is a single target situation with Liam here, right, we're going to, you know, do our, do our character's things, put Fischl down. And we can do Sucrose, but we're not going to be triggering swirls on anything. Like, you have to swirl Hydro or Electro around and then trigger Hydro or Electro on another enemy to be able to get the cooldown reduction triggered from 4-piece Thundering Fury, which means we're just relying on, like, C4 Sucrose. So this is a build that doesn't really make sense, is my point, in single target situations here. But, I mean, the, the damage still was honestly not terrible there. Like, these local legends, like Liam here, has a actual crap ton of HP. So, for this being a four-star only team, and actually our ER wasn't even that bad, we could have used a little bit more, but I think in an AoE, stop climbing, in an AoE situation, I think this team might potentially get a lot more, uh, or not a lot more, but, you know, one more scale out per rotation consistently. Don't kill me. And in that context, I think we'd, we'd be potentially fine. And Farazon's ER was fine. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it was fine as well. Can you stop setting everything on fire? Bro, like, really? What are you doing? We are just setting the forest on fire. Oh, my God. So, anyways, I don't know. We already we already saw, like, decent damage for, for DPS Sucrose there. Let's, uh, let's try to do this in a more <laughs> proper situation, though, I guess. Like, killing crabs. 18,000. I love it. How much does she get on a, a charge attack without any boss up? 7,000? Not bad, not bad. I like it. Alright, we're gonna test out Thundering Fury Sucrose here against these enemies. I don't know... Yeah, they have an aura on them all the time, so I'm not sure if we're actually gonna be able to consistently get Electro Charges to trigger... Ow. To trigger on these buttholes either, but we'll see. Well, no, you no, you literally can't override the aura on these guys. Okay, well, yeah. So I can't even. I don't. I don't think there's any tanky enemies even in the overworld that allow me to like properly demonstrate this. Sadly, at least at least as far as I'm aware. So we're gonna have to save. We're gonna have to save testing out Thundering Fury Sucrose for the abyss, basically. So let's just switch to testing out Mars to say Hunters uh, versions of uh, DPS Sucrose here, and uh, we'll see how this goes. We should be able to get much higher numbers, I think, from this variation. You know what? We'll go with it. We got 127 ER, 250 crit damage, 37.7% crit rate. Once we get the Marsha stacks, we'll be up about, you know, 70-ish percent crit rate. Good enough. Good enough to be functional. Of course, Bennett being the primary healer for Farina is not ideal necessarily, but keep in mind that you can put Bennett on a four-piece, like, Maiden's build with Farina, and, and he becomes quite good because you can overcap uh your healing when you're when you're doing the farina bennett combo and wham blam you trigger farina's passive that triggers healing um for the whole team uh, or for other party members when you when you trigger over healing right so bennett can actually be in my opinion a much better healer than people give him credit for with farina especially considering bennett's other upsides like you know buffing your sucrose damage 
All right, so obviously because this team works in single target, we should see it perform much better against uh, the M here. And this should be an easier team to play in general. Do this. Where'd you go? I don't know where you are. There you are. I mean, yep, that was that was quite a lot better. Go figure. You might need more ER and Bennett, or just remember to swap to him a little bit more often, but that's fine. Uh, also, could potentially use more energy. Eh, more energy on Arazon seems like, and notably Sugros too. All right, try another rotation here. Blam, and do the Sucros. Now, nice 30k, and I'm dead. Oh, okay. Well, that's not ideal. Hey, look, I'm alive. And I'm dead. I thought I would be healed by Bennett, but I think it went away. Well, Liam got the got the better of Sucrose there. But anyways, you saw that we got decent numbers from Sucrose. Potentially little bits of, of energy issues to fix, though, in that team variation, which is not too surprising. Oh, I just realized I accidentally put an HP timepiece on Farazon instead of my attack timepiece. Whoopsies. There we go. I fixed the Farazon build. Maybe that'll fix her ER issues. For Sucrose, I swapped to this Animal Damage Goblet, which, you know, obviously has a lot less crit than the previous one I did, but it's got ER, and uh, if that lets us get our burst back consistently, that's more important. Okie dokie, let's see if we can get a proper kill on Liam here before we switch to uh, somewhere else. Okay, well, can I press the right button? Oh my god, brain. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Alright, do this. Minus 26k, non-crit there, 82k in there, Jesus. Was that from Farazon or was that from Sucrose? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, oops, I, the rotation should be restarted now. Oh, I should have done Farazon first. I feel like the big numbers might be from Farazon rather than Sucrose, I'm not sure. Ow. Do you kill me again, really? Oh my god, bro. Bro, how is he, he just one shot? Oh my god, he's freaking local legends, man. <laughs> uh, all I want for Christmas is a damage dummy, but Mahoya doesn't know how to do something that simple. I'm sick of being one shot by by Liam, so um, we're, we're just going to go to the abyss. At least I can just easily restart abyss floors if I bungle something up. <laughs> For the Marsh, I'll say Hunter's Sucrose, that is better in single target. We're going to test her against the second side of Abyss. And then for the Thundering Fury, since that one requires AoE, we'll do the first side. All right, where are you, stupid worm? Hello. This one lands. Bars on. Him. Hopefully he doesn't go dig underground. Oh, of course you bothole. 75k. Okay, that 80k earlier was probably from... Okay, uh, do that. 80k. Oh my god, okay. I, I love the... <laughs> I don't think I... I honestly didn't expect to get that big in the first rumor. Uh, just the, this is the power of Bennett and Farina Far was on, I guess. It's not that surprising in hindsight. Uh, should have been healing with Farina during that, but whatever. We'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Probably. Can I... Like, hi... Okay. I hate this enemy's mechanic here that does this crap. Like, okay. Well... I died. Alright, try this again with slightly less uh, death this time. And hopefully the worm doesn't do its stupid underground move at the very start. If it does its little roly poly move, then we can uh, have some real fun here. God, stop, you bothole. 82,000. Okay, the, the exactly 82k is very satisfying. I can't get any cooldown reset. Alright, wait, wait. Switch to Farina doing her healing here. Okay, alright. I still... Hey, look at that. We trigger. I was going to say, I still do not understand to this day what specifically breaks that dude out of that phase. But it doesn't matter. Blam. I didn't crit. Sad. Nice 37 cannon charge attack, though. Anyways, let's try to kill you without having to uh, use a burst. Or maybe should have used a burst. Oh, God. Definitely should have used a burst. We're going to heal here. Okay. Good. We're not dead. Fine. No, uh oh. Okay, well, I, I think I just got punished for for waiting. Um, can you die, sir? 
God dang it. Third time's the charm, and surely the butthole will not go underground in its first move this time, so I can do things properly. Hopefully, please, behave. No, you absolute butthole. God, I... <laughs> Uh, can you be less of a bubble? Whatever. Whatever. No, don't kill Farina. Downside to not having an HP up on Farina. She dies? What is happening? Oh my god, okay. Alright, hopefully we cannot die in this phase here. We'll find out shortly though if I do. Can you get knocked down? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm fine. I somehow avoided dying. Oh my god, look at the damage. Mucho damage. 40, is that 45k from her burst? That's awesome. Okay. I get that. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. We got it. We got it. Okay. We got this. We got this. No, you're doing this again. Oh my god. Yeah, we knocked him down. Okay, okay, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. Kill him. Kill him. Nice 32k from charge attack. Okay, yeah. I should be charge attacking more. Nice. Okay. I don't know how much of a difference C4 is making, but you know what? We cleared it without a problem. Well, without a problem might be the way, wrong way to describe that, but hey. The damage was there. The, the scale was not. I uh, just We have 2 minutes and 15 seconds, but I just remembered that uh, the Wee Nut is very, very animo resistant, which is a problem. <laughs> I don't know why I keep forgetting this. Um, so, you know, uh, look, 7,000 damage. Uh, <laughs> Considering two of our main damage dealers in this team are animo damage dealers, that's and 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 I power down my Farida. That's a slight issue, I will say. <laughs> All right, how much animo damage are we doing? Let's see. Blam, blam. I should have set up more before he fell down, but whatever. I didn't crit. It's still thirty thousand damage. I don't think I can three star this with this team, not without losing my mind at least. Yeah, he's dead. Two stars is good enough considering his animal resistance. Alright, we should have a much easier time against this butthole. Let's get some energy quick while we do that. Blam. Now he's... Oh god, don't don't kill me. You're not. Y'all, can you stop moving right when I need to shoot you? Good lord. Okay, do this. Do this. Maybe we should have done Bennett first to heal all my other characters. Let's, let's sit on Farzan for a second to heal her. Alright. There we go. We got this. 82k. Dash and dodge that. Can we get a charge attack out? There we go. Nice 40k. Alright. There we go. Now we're doing good things. Farzan. Get a little bit of healing going. Alright. We're fine. We're fine. Nice 80k. No, oh, you butthole. I really wanted to get him killed before. Okay, well. We'll kill him in the air. It's fine. Sucrose got range damage. Blam, look at that. He died off screen. How disrespectful. All right. Other than the Weena, this uh, this Marsha say Hunter's variation of DPS Sucrose, unsurprisingly worked pretty well. I think I'm gonna go try it just in the first chamber of the first half click, just so you can see, you know, a non-single target situation, and then we'll go switch to the Thunder and Fury variation and see how how that feels. Overall, I can say I actually quite liked how that felt to play. It's is is it better than doing you know Wander or Shout? I mean, probably not. I would hope not, at least. But. It, it is fun, and, uh, you know, she has decent AoE damage. Honestly, she has better control for AoE damage than Wander does, let's be real. <laughs> but Wander, if we're, like, comparing this situation versus with Wander, Wander probably would have killed these these two dudes already, right? And uh, that's an important differentiator, but... When it comes to Animo DPSs, once you have c 6 bars on and you have pieces like, uh, obviously, Bennett and Farina to help out, Honestly, I think it barely matters what on-field DPS, like on-field animal DPS you're using. It's kind of just use whoever you want that you're having fun with. Ah, okay, well. Oops, I died. Uh, that was my fault. I was not paying attention. I died again. Also my fault. You get the point. Um, the damage was there. Her C4 didn't feel like it was making that much of a difference there, right? 
versus I think the combination of Thundering Fury plus Sucrose C4 might give uh, an additional skill for rotation like consistently and might actually start to matter. For the feather, I'm just going to preemptively switch to this feather. I, I feel like we're going to need that 20% energy recharge, so a bit less crit. Alright, let's do something like that. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, oh, wrong thing. Yeah, I'm frozen because that's just how Xing Chou do. Alright, and we should be able to start seeing some decent cooldown reduction here. I think at least. Yeah, look at that. We got another skill. Okay. And then at this point, I, well, hmm, I don't know if we actually got a, that in the normal rotation time or not, to be completely honest. <laughs> hmm. I think, yeah, the cooldowns. Sucrose is a really long cooldown, right? It's uh, on our skill. So even if you're getting cooldown reduction, it's hard to necessarily have enough to make it worthwhile, but I don't know. That, that wasn't terrible. Was it better than the other team? Probably not. Certainly, obviously not getting as much damage. Oh, out of stamina, it's fine, I suppose. That. Hmm. I think you gotta like definitely manage stamina better in this variation. Is my current feeling. Ow! 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 The amount of numbers you see in any Electro Charge team are always satisfying, that's for sure. It wasn't terrible. Oh boy. Alright, well, we've got a nice AoE situation. <laughs> nice AoE situation in Chamber 2, but also a lot more things to hit us. Which is uh, obviously problematic because Sucrose is almost dead. Whoa, whoa. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. That's fine now that we're in a single target situation. Oh, and Sucrose is dead. Yo, can I not get stuck here? Oh my god, game. I'm literally stuck. I can't move. Oh my god. Love Mahoyo jank design. Can why, why is there tornadoes that are not going away? Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, don't kill Shinjo. Alright, I mean, hey, look at that. The, the AoE damage potential when things are actually working well. Not bad, not bad. Like, look at that. When things work, they they feel pretty good. And then we got a little bit of a single target situation here, but... And then you're still alive for some reason. Die, die, die. Oh my god, don't kill Subarus. Die. Die. Thank you. Alright, let's see if we can not die in the last chamber. If I need to, I'll choose the HP Restoral card, but let's see here. again here, but oh well. Alright, there we go. Let's get some things going here. So yeah, energy recharge. Uh, oh, oh, no, the words. We definitely aren't getting our first back consistently, but hey, you know what? This team, when things are working, right? That was a, that was a minute clear. When things are working, that team works pretty well. It just feels like it's a little bit harder to get it working consistently is probably how I would describe the, the feeling of playing it right now. Alrighty, so all in all, which variation of DPS Sucros would I recommend? Uh, realistically, probably the Farina variation. Especially in the context of Cloud Retainer and, you know, Plunge variations being being available, right? The Thundering Fury vari variation does work, it feels like, but it... it, it it feels weirdly inconsistent, like, it's kind of all it came down to, so... Anyhow, let me know if you do some DPS Sucro shenanigans in the comments, and uh, subscribe or whatever for more DPSing characters, crit DPSing, or whatever else, doing things in Genshin that are unconventional. That's, that's kind of how I like to do in the game now, to have fun.